lady shopping inside thrift store spots discovery from the past that has her whole body shaking Most of us have a fun time shopping at thrift stores like Goodwill. This is one of the most popular thrift stores in the United States. Here we'd be able to find plenty of things that are always on sale. This has become a hobby for some people and no one can really blame them because you never know what kind of treasures you might luckily find in the rows of the shelves. At Goodwill, many people would shop here to purchase things that they need at a very affordable price. Most people coming by Goodwill are looking for great deals on items that would be useful for them, especially the elderly on senior day. However, it doesn't happen all the time that you come across a piece of an item that can make your knees weak, something that can bring memories back. This is exactly what happened to a woman from Ohio who was out on her regular shopping routine in Goodwill and Jupiter, Florida. It was senior day, so Julie Ann Lisi and her husband Mike went to the thrift store hoping to find a good bargain. Like Julie, you might find here a good book, a shirt, and even rare treasures. As Julie was scanning the shelves, there was one item that caught her attention. On the lower shelf sits a weathered old baseball glove. It might look interesting for some, but for Julie, the name written on the glove, penned on the outside, made her knees weak. It read, Christopher Lisi. Christopher Lisi is their son. The name on that glove was his own handwriting. When she was interviewed by WPTV News, she said, My knees got wobbly and I got weak and scared. She immediately called her husband over to show him what she'd found. The glove was their son's mitt that had gone missing for 40 years. The cashier rang it up and Julie's buying back a priceless memory. The cashier who assisted Julie that day shared, it was like something really special unfolding. Julie and Mike said that while staying at their retirement home, they always think about their memories of the baseball games, watching their son playing baseball. She said every night was a baseball game. The couple was shocked because the glove disappeared in Ohio, not in Florida where their retirement home is located. Julie snapped a photo of the glove and sent it to Christopher and he told her to purchase it upon closer inspection The glove still has Julie's handwriting on the inside The big question was how did the glove end up in this branch of the Goodwill? Christopher told his parents that he lost it after their big win during a championship game in 1998 It was a memorable game for their family because Christopher hit two home runs and according to him he hadn't seen it since Mike said in the handing out of trophies, he probably set it down. It's a mystery how the glove got there, but it was an incredible story that left people with goosebumps. For Julie, it's still a miracle. For Buck 49, Julie was able to bring this priceless memory back home, where it rightfully belongs.